Hey everyone, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over some of the strategies that I've been using for, uh, when I yield farm. So, you know what I noticed when I yield farm, right? I've got all these these profits that I have, and sometimes you want to buy other coins on Ethereum chain. So, for example, you have a lot of Binance Smart Chain tokens, and you want to use a centralized exchange to buy something like Ecomi or OMI or something that is not available on Binance Smart Chain. So how do you do it? Uh, and I'm going to be showing you this via Binance Bridge. So there's two ways of converting Binance Smart Chain tokens. Uh, there's one way which I showed, which was coming over to Binance.com, which is a centralized exchange, and then transferring Binance Smart Chain. Let me just open up my, my wallet here. So there's a couple of options. Let's say you want to deposit USDT, right? And, you know, you did some yield farming and whether it's on your MetaMask or your Binance Smart Chain wallet or your trust wallet, you want to buy cryptocurrency on an Ethereum chain, right? So you can't use Binance Smart Chain on Ethereum network unless you transfer it. So as you can see, I've got uh, 799 USDT, which is in, you know, pegged, coins which is on the bsc network so the binance smart chain network so how would you convert it um you there's one of two ways i'll show you the second way which i've been doing because when you use binance.com a lot of people don't like to use binance.com because of the kyc because of the know your customer information is required for depositing and also mostly for withdrawing so how would you transfer it you come over here from binance smart chain and you'd send come over here and you'd send okay then you'd put in the address so over here binance smart chain right here so you'd actually copy that come over here you would send put in that address max amount boom now you'll receive the usdt now what you can do is just come over to the spot market and let's say you want to buy kusama or something like that so let's just come over to uh market and we're going to look for something usdt that we want to trade with so usdt and let's just go to favorites and see what we have so let's say we want to buy bitcoin so we just come over here to trade and let's pretend see we got 35 dollars worth of usdt and that's it so binance automatically converts it from bsc to you know native usdt whatever it is and then then that's how you can do it. So like I mentioned, people don't want to use Binance.com because of the KYC. People don't want to submit their information. So let's get into using Binance Bridge. So as you can see, I did one confirmation. It went through, went successful. So I'm just going to do another one for everyone. So you just want to come over to Binance.org EN Bridge. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And it's pretty straightforward. So, you know, it tells you waiting confirmation, the history. So that's great because I connected my wallet. So I'm using Binance Smart Chain to do this. You can use MetaMask, however you want, but you just want to make sure that your wallet is connected at the top right. So as you can see over here, I've got $800 worth of USDT and I want to send it to another no KYC account, which I'm using, which is Bytrue. So I use Bytrue because a couple of things. I've got Gala, and Gala sells on Bytrue or on Uniswap. Uniswap fees are just ridiculous. I don't want to use it. I'd rather use a centralized uh, exchange that doesn't have KYC requirements. So as you can see, I've, I've you know, this is where I do my Gala stuff. So. Uh, as you can see, a couple of minutes ago, $58 deposited successfully. And I do that as a small amount to test the transaction to make sure it goes first before I send, you know, the full amount. Okay, I always preach that. So let's come over to Binance Smart Chain. So this is how you do it. it tells you your daily limit is 109000 uh, per USDT address. So you can select a bunch of coins that they have over here. So I'm going to actually have to do this with Dot later on because I have a lot of uh, Polkadot, uh, pegged Polkadot, and I'm buying this smart chain wallet. I might keep it. Uh, it just really depends on how I'm feeling. I, I'm hoping I just move it just because uh, Polkadot's a keeper for me. Okay, so I selected USDT. So basically what I'm doing here is taking 
my USDT here, my USDT here that is pegged to the Binance Smart Chain and moving it over to Ethereum network because Bytru only accepts, you know, well, you could deposit Omni or the Tron Chain TRC20, but they don't support Binance Smart Chain. So I'm going to have to do it this way. So come over to USDT. Now you're saying I'm doing it from my Binance Smart Chain wallet, which you could see it's in green, it's connected, and I'm going to send it to an Ethereum network. And your options here are Binance Chain Network, TR TRX Network. And I could select TRX Network if I wanted to and just come over to Bytru and, and select TR TRC, but I'm not. So I'm just going to maintain ERC, Ethereum Chain, and select Ethereum. So let's leave that there. Now I want to do the max amount so insufficient because there you go so i have 800.27.64 okay so the destination i'm just going to come over here i'm going to copy my ethereum address let's copy it make sure that erc20 is selected i'm going to come over here i'm going to paste that and i'm going to look at the address again yep zero x looks good and i already did my test sample but I'll show you. So the minimum amount to send is $78, okay? The maximum amount is 100000 right? So this is decentralized. So I want to show you the network fees. People are asking me, what's the network fees when I use this? Um, uh, it's about $20. So let's come over to next. So I'll read this again, Binance Smart Chain, which I'm doing it at BEP20 Binance Smart Chain to Ethereum network. The asset is USDT. The address is there. The network fee is $20. So I'll be receiving $780. So I'll confirm this. Now it's going to ask me, okay, so it says invalid amount. Okay, let's cancel this. So let's just do, um, you know, a regular amount. So it tells me in my wallet I've got roughly an estimated value 796 so 800 let's just do 800 so 800 boom okay destination is fine so let's go select next all right so i'm going to receive 780 ethereum chain network everything is the same let's confirm all right so it tells me the amount and it asks me you know it tells me submit transaction via binance chain wallet right so i've got my binance chain wallet connected so let's do that binance chain wallet and it opens it up like this to read everything looks good confirm all right so now submit a transaction via binance smart chain wallet so it's going to do its thing the last one took roughly about 10 to 15 minutes so it's going to pop up here below with a little confirmation and in my buy true status eventually this is the, i'm going to get a notice that's going to say unconfirmed and then it's going to change to success and then i could also look at this on the binance smart chain uh, scanner explorer so over here, look, so it's pending, which is great. $780 is going to my buy true account. And you can open up this and just browse and look at it. So success. So that means that it went to, you know, it had this contract that it went from here to here. So I'm just going to open this. And it's in. So that doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's in your account. It actually went through the Binance BEP20 conversion. Then it's sending it off to, um, to buy true. So you just have to keep waiting, right? So, and like I said, we're going to just refresh the status. Just come over to my assets, deposit. And like I said, it'll say USD ERC20, the amount, and then it's going to say, unconfirmed and once it confirms which is usually roughly about two minutes later it's going to say success so let's just wait for this and i'll still show you exactly what it's doing so confirmations here it is so confirmations one of 15 right so let's just wait until that counts so and it's pending and let me just pause the video and i'll come back and i'll show you exactly the next steps 
All right, so we've got confirmations 15 to 15, so it's still pending over here, and uh, it's going to take another couple of minutes, so be patient with this. So confirmations 15 to 15, pending, and uh, just come over to your Ethereum account, wherever you're doing this from, and hopefully you're doing it from a decentralized exchange that doesn't require KYC, and just kind of do a refresh. You know, I like to do come over to my assets, come over to deposit, and here you go. So $780 unconfirmed. Uh, this is going to change into confirmed status. There you go. So transaction ID, $780 because they took a $20 fee. And success. So I could see my account. I've got 1000 95 and that is it so uh, it's pretty straightforward like i mentioned i'm going to leave the link in the description below and you can see over here so waiting for confirmations complete and you could actually come over here to look at your history so you come over here to history uh completed remitting uh, etc so that's twenty dollars twenty dollars um, and then eventually it'll show up in my history here but it's not showing up but that's how you use Binance uh, Smart Chain Wallet. Like I said, there's two ways of doing it. You could do it through a centralized exchange like Binance.com, which is easy. And there is there is no $20 fee. Um, but, you know, to use Binance Bridge via USDT, I don't, I'm not too sure exactly the charges on uh, other coins. I haven't done it. I just use, use mostly USDT and deposit to buy Ecomi, uh, OMI, and other stuff. So... That's it for the video. If you liked it, please comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.